Hello, this is Loopline, and in this video I'm going to cover the Scrapebox Broken Link Checker add-on. It's a new add-on that Scrapebox came out with, and the way we get to it is under Add-ons. We can go to Show Available Add-ons, and if you don't have it installed, this is how you install it. You find the Broken Links Checker and you install it down here, and then close out. Then we go back to Add-ons, and it is the Scrapebox Broken Links Checker. And once that loads up, we need to bring in some URLs. So we can do that from a file or from the Scrapebox Harvester. I have a few URLs in the Harvester here. Then we have a settings option. And there's a total of 100 connections available. Now out of those connections, you get to choose how many connections are used for a download function and how many of those connections are used for the link checking function. And what that means is, so I've got three websites here. So if I were to set it to use only one connection here for the downloads function and 100 for the link checking function, what that's going to do is it's going to go download all of the URLs on Scrapebox FAC, which means it's going to load the Scrapebox FAC page with one connection and then it's going to go take the rest of the 100 connections and it's going to go check all those links on that page to see if they're live. And then it's going to move on to the next one. If I bump it up a little bit and do, I think it comes to default of like 520, it'll use five connections to download these pages. And then under each one of those pages, it's going to take all of the links on them and use 20 connections at a time to check and see if those links are, are live. So it depends on how you have it set up. You can manipulate that there as you see fit. And then we also have server status codes to indicate whether a link is online or not. By default, it comes with, I think, 200, 301, 302, and 303. Now, in a minute, I'll show you how that can be applied uh, to work differently. But 200 is your standard OK, redirect, redirect, and then 303, I think, is another redirect off the top of my head, but I don't have that one memorized. Anyways, um, you, if you know what status codes are, you can check those out. Otherwise, you can research it, and then you can do header checks on different things. There's free tools out there, pretty helpful. Anyways, so once this is done, we can go ahead and hit Start, and we can see it going through here and downloading these, and then it's checking links, and you can see it going back and forth and doing its thing. So I'll pause the video and let that finish here. And I guess while it's doing it, I should say, see this how one that's checking 44 links is taking a little longer. It has to go to each one of these links that's on scrapeboxfact.com and go and try to load the pages out there and see what the uh, header status is. So if any one of those links that's out there, say on scrapeboxfact.com, I link to a proxy provider's website. And that proxy provider's website, when their web page is trying to load up, let's say that it's really slow. So it could take a long time to kick back a response. So all of that slows this down. So if it looks like it's taking a long time, it could just be because it doesn't have enough connections or it could be your bandwidth and that sort of thing. But it could also just be that as it's loading all these pages, some of them are just slow. So anyways, it finished up there. And you can, you can see here it says click URLs to see their links. So if I click on this, then I see all the links over here that are on the Scrapebox fact site. Most of these are internal links, some of them are external, like YouTube, for instance, and that sort of thing. All of them are online. I can right-click on them and open the default URL in a web browser, and this pop it open so I can see it. So obviously that might be really helpful if one's offline. Again, these are all online. And then as we come to Scrapebox Marketplace, you can see I have one dead here. Because I have the way I have this set up with WordPress, it's a, it returns a 406. The page works, but it returns a 406. And so that's not on the list. So Scrapebox thinks that's dead. So if I wanted 406 to be on the list to show that that is a live link, because it does indeed work, then I would click OK here. And once I hit Start, we can see it go through here. And the next time, that will come up as a live link. And I'll show you that here as soon as this 30 links is done. So we can hit Stop, go in here, and we can see, OK, now that's a live link. But I can export them when I'm done. And I can export all links as an Excel file. Or I can export the dead links as an Excel file and then go check them out. Now, if I had a whole domain I wanted to check, like let's say I wanted to take Scrapebox Marketplace and check those, I could open up the other add-on that's in Scrapebox, the link extractor, and extract internal links. And I could throw in my homepage, extract internal links, then take those internal links and shove them back into the link extractor and keep extracting internal links and do that two or three times deep until I had basically all of the pages that are on my site because it's not terribly big. And then I could load them all into here and on this side load them up and then let it check all the outbound links on all the pages on my site to see if any of the links on my site are broken. 
because this isn't crawling the website, it's just looking for broken links on this exact URL here, whatever's loaded. I could also maybe use like the site function in Google, so I could throw in my, my website here, and then you put site right here, and uh, pull that from like Yahoo, or that sort of, th or Google and the rest, um, and throw in the website here. And then take the results and load them in here if I wanted to pull all the pages from my website. But you get the point. Um, if you have a list of pages on your website, it's already fine. If not, you can use other tools in Scrapebox to get that if you want to check all those. Or if you just need to check a list of URLs that you have, you can load them in here and go. And that is how the Scrapebox Broken Links Checker add-on works.